is a Wednesday. I just finished work and Jack's out for the evening. So I thought I might bring you along on my evening routine and what my routine looks like when Jack isn't in. It's pretty similar regardless, but I don't know if you know this about me, but I love my alone time more than anything. I do really look forward <laughs> to having those little like evenings to myself and they just give me a bit more me time. So I was like, well, why not show you guys what that experience is like for me? And we can have a really nice evening together. So we've got some plans. It's currently six o'clock. I'm done with being on my laptop. I shot a little photo. I've actually had a really chill day. I went for brunch with Becca. If you know Rebecca Monroe, she's an incredible videographer and cinematographer. She's so good. So the first thing we're gonna do is bake a banana bread. I have two leftover bananas. They are very, very brown. And I think, there is banana bread time basically. Gluten free banana bread is usually fine because the bananas add that like stickiness and I might add an egg as well. I'm not sure if I need an egg, but regardless, I might just add it to create the bind. I'll either make a dinner as well, depending on how much energy I have. I have an idea of maybe making some drunken noodles or if I'm not in the mood for that, I might just order some food. I really fancy ramen or some kind of like noodle soup. So I might just do that, watch some TV. And then I definitely wanna have a really nice bath. I might do some journaling. I might do some reading as well. We've got a bit of time. I'll also show you my skincare routine because you know, it takes a lot of work to keep this face looking peachy. The hair is up, the lipstick is on. But before we start, I think we need to talk about the elephant sized hole in the room. Um, yeah, let's talk about that. So maybe two weeks ago now the dishwasher broke. Woo! Um, it was really annoying, but it is what it is, like these things break and our landlord really like swiftly sorted it out and we had one delivered on Tuesday. <laughs> However, that one was broken. So we're now waiting until Monday for a dishwasher. Those are the cliff notes, that's all you need to know. Okay, hey. <laughs> Something I also didn't mention is when I bake, I guess the measurements and it's not the right thing to do, but we don't have time in my heart and my head to really care about measurements. So here we are. This, by the way, is a gluten-free and alcohol-free beer called Loa. I ordered some. I was just a fool for the Instagram marketing. I fell hard and I fell fast. Saw one ad and I bought them. And they're actually all right. They're a bit more like a beer and lime flavored seltzer than a beer. But to be honest, it's quite nice. It's like quite refreshing in the evening. So I put the butter in the oven. No one let me do anything, honestly. I'm a mess. I'm also eating some olives while I do this, which is not gonna go wrong. God, that's a lot of butter, fucking hell. I've also got butter everywhere. I did a lovely Christmas cooking class with Body Shop and the chef, who I think was Nadia of Bake Off, um, gave us this great tip of putting your used vanilla pod in your sugar so that it creates vanilla sugar. And Oh, it's genius, it's absolute genius. I'm gonna say probably that much. And then I can always add more. See, I cook better than I bake. And I think it's important to say that now because if you just saw this, you would think I was bad at all of it. And I wouldn't blame you. With the intention of not just spending my whole evening making banana bread, I am using my blender, which is so useful. It's my hand mixer. My parents got it for me for my birthday. Okay, let's give this a go. Could be enough. These are so far gone. I don't know if I've mentioned this online before, but when I was in food tech at school, which is our like home eco or whatever it's called, I um I <laughs> made muffins, but because they were on like a health kick thing, they didn't really add any sugar to them. And on top of that, I thought, well, I'll get a better rise if I add way more baking soda. So I had like three teaspoons, and they just tasted like soap. They were awful. Oh my God, so satisfying. The final thing. This bowl makes all mixture look small, but I just don't know if it actually is or not. I wish it was like a pie where you could add like your initials to it or something. That's how proud I am when I actually eventually do any baking. I made a cake. <laughs> the thing about gluten-free baking is you really never know what it's gonna come out like. So this could be anything. Well, we'll find out. I'll put a timer on. Guess who forgot an ingredient? To be honest, I'm not that fussed. I've done my cooking for today and I would quite like a takeaway. So I'm gonna order something. Come on, Lucy, find some good nudes. moment and show you the cake that I got out of the oven 10 minutes ago. This banana bread looks legit, which really warms my heart. I'm gonna get it out of its container. The moment of truth will arrive very soon. Oh my goodness. Whoop, look at that. 
Oh my God, your girl made a cake. It smells amazing. I can't even tell you how much fur I just ate. I am so full. I also got um, meat, which I don't normally do, but when I'm due on, which I am now, I can just feel my body is just craving some iron. So I've got some red meat. Not usually the vibe, but it was delicious. I'm very glad I did it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut a slice, like a small slice. How good is that? Like, oh my God, I'm so happy with it. Good work. Don't know what the kitchen's doing. Oh my God, it's fluffy, it's light. Oh my goodness. Can we just take a moment to enjoy that crumb? The take is it's not too sweet, which is a good thing, because I think you could even butter it and it would still be really nice as like more of a loaf. Oh my God, I can't tell you. It's got bounce, it looks correct, but it stays together like an actual cake. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna finish my episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. You can tell that my period is due because I somehow managed to fit in me a starter, a main, and two slices of cake. It's now like 10 o'clock. I watched two episodes of Kardashians and then one on TikTok for ages, so that's good. If you really wanna know about my evening routine, that's what it looks like. Now it's time to actually get ready for bed. So, I'm gonna have a quick shower. Normally I shower in the mornings, but sometimes when I wanna really decompress, I have a shower at night. And I just bought some nice things for the bathroom to make evening showers so much better. I would just let you know now that I take my showers and my baths very seriously. So let's start with this. This is, I don't really know what to call it other than like a glowing orb, but I can use this remote control. It's fully waterproof and I can change the color. You can't really, I guess you could tell off my white shirt. I've got a purple here got red. The options are just truly quite something. I pop this in the bathroom to create some like additional light because our main overhead lights are just really bright and not very pleasant or like not necessarily not very pleasant but just not necessarily what you want in the evening. And the second thing, this is maybe slightly less exciting but I bought this baby waterproof uh, speaker as well because I don't love listening to music out my phone, but recently it's all I've been doing because I don't have a speaker anymore. I would use a Viva speaker, which was a mega boom, but we renamed mega boob. So I was listening to mega boob, but unfortunately that's at the other house. So got this JBL. JBL make really good speakers. They actually gifted me one three or four years ago and it lived a good life. I used it often. Lan was in love with it. We'd be meeting up somewhere and Lan would text me be like, please can you bring the JBL speaker? So I'm just gonna pop this in the bathroom, this lamp in the bathroom, and have a really nice, relaxing shower. And then I'll also take you through my skincare routine. Look at me and my orb. <laughs> it's so weird. Trying to keep the serene vibes in here, but it does kind of look like I'm in a horror film. So <laughs> do bear with. Weirdly, I realized I don't really own any pajamas anymore. I tend to just wear like really comfy clothes before I go to bed and then just sleep in my underwear and Jack's t-shirt. And I, I don't know, I would really like to own some pajamas. So if you have any recommendations, do send them over and, or like leave them in the comments. Let me talk you through my evening skincare routine. Okay, what would I like to do to my skin today? Main thing is I've still got a little bit of eye makeup left on here, which is a bit annoying. So I'm gonna quickly take a cotton pad and just remove that last bit of eye makeup. So this is the Glossier Milky Oil. I just pop a little bit on a cotton pad. I normally use reusable cotton pads, but actually since the move, I can't find them. <laughs> so I'm currently just, um, yeah, using these, but I will go back to them. I love my reusable ones, they're really good. Just to remove that last bit of eye makeup. I completely forgot I was wearing mascara today actually, but I shot um, a photo earlier. If you saw one of me in the Ganny dress, that was today. So this bit is a bit more confusing. So normally every night I use niacinamide and zinc, but recently I've been using my gua sha a lot more. So, Maybe I'll niacinamide and zinc, let it sink in for like a minute and a half, and then I'll take you through the gua sha routine. So with the niacinamide and zinc, I literally put one drop on my hand, only put it in my problem areas, and then I leave it to soak in for usually like 30 seconds to a minute. I just wanna make sure it's getting absorbed because I know when I used to use it, I didn't see results and I was like, why is this not happening? 
and then I saw online it's because I wasn't letting it sink in. I don't know if this light is gonna be really bad. I'm so sorry. Okay, so there's a few ways my evening routine can go at the moment. One of them is uh, using hyaluronic acid. I reintroduced it into my routine recently, and when I do use it, I use it with my pie uh, toner, which is the rice plant and rosemary toner. It's amazing. So I was just doing niacinamide and zinc and then a moisturizer, and that really helped clear my skin after I came off the pill. However, I'm just slowly reintroducing stuff now. I've started using this Biosense Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil. I'm actually working with Biosense soon. I filmed it at my old house. But yeah, I've used Biosense for years. Love them. If you ever saw me using the eye cream, you'll know. But yeah, I just take a full pump. I don't know if that's too much or too little, but I just want to make sure that my gua sha has stuff to work with. Pop the oil on my face. When I first started doing this recently, I couldn't believe the difference it made just to the quality of my skin. I maybe do it a bit too often now, as in the oil, not the gua sha. It made my skin feel just absolutely amazing. Take my gua sha, I've got an Audacity gua sha. It's like the perfect fit for my face. I know it's meant to be, <laughs> but I don't know if I do this fully correctly. I have had two tutorials, but I start from going from the inside of my chin out right to the edge of my uh, jawline. And I do this 12 times. So my hand's holding this like a little claw. Claws can be cute though. I apply a bit of pressure, but not too much. Okay, so I've done that on this side 12 times. And then I go in across here, which I'd say is kind of my under eye crease and my cheekbone and my, what would be, I guess my contour line. I don't press very hard at all. There's a tiny bit of pressure. And then we go for the forehead. I do this 24 times and I go, Oh, there's this perfect bit here that does your temples so well. And I just make my way across the forehead, trying not to get it fully into my hair. I do sometimes think about maybe looking into getting like preventative, like Botox and stuff like that. Not because I particularly want it in the future at all, but because I know at this point in time, if I don't take care of my skin, my skin will kind of run away with me a little bit. And I don't want to prematurely age. I'm so fine with aging but I'd rather not accelerate it. <laughs> Which is also why I've really worked on wearing SPF at the moment. Okay, and the final thing I do is I go down my neck with this flat side again over here. I don't press hard on this one because your neck is a delicate thing. <laughs> and there we go. That is my gua sha face. I don't know if it's making a difference, but it makes me feel better, especially when I've got a bit of extra time in the evenings. I do this probably three, three times a week at the moment. I don't know if I talk about this very much, but um, since a year and a half ago, I've been really trying to use up every product that comes through to me that I want to use. I'm no longer just doing the beauty maximalism thing and dipping my hands into everything. I really try and be mindful about what I use and what I give away. And something I've kept a hold of for a while because I definitely want to use it when the time comes is um, an amethyst face roller because amethyst is a real like, I feel very connected to amethyst. Amethyst is my birthstone, so I was always bought it when I was growing up, and it feels like the right thing, you know, so I'm holding on to it, because I will use it eventually, in addition to this and my jade roller. <sighs> I'm smooth like a seal. This is the final step. When I'm gua sha that's all I really do. Now you're gonna laugh when you see this. I might look like a moon man. This is the Victoria Beckham Priming Moisturizer, and this one is the golden one. I only use it at night, because <laughs> if I use it in the day, I, look like I've been tangoed. But as I said, policy of using things up and something this good quality, obviously I'm gonna use it. This is such a luxurious product and I love this whole brand, especially their skincare, because it's developed in partnership with Augustinus Bader, who, if you don't know, is kind of famous in the skincare world, especially in like the celebrity skincare world for his moisturizers and his just like his evening skincare products are known for being amazing. And this moisturizer has yet to let me down. It's amazing. So you might be able to tell I'm very shiny now. <laughs> so if I did this every day, this would just be too oily for my skin. So yeah, I so said this happens about three times a week at the moment. Maybe I'll cut it down, I'll, I'll adjust. And then the niacinamide and a more plain moisturizer happens more often. And then I also have some nights where I exfoliate, I would say two to three times a week. I use the Paula's Choice 2% BHA exfoliator. So that's kind of what my routine looks like at the moment. I'm loving trying new products and shaking things up, but it has to happen at a very slow pace. I think now I'm basically just gonna read, go to bed. Jack's still not home. I think it's like 11. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just going into 11. 
And so yeah, now I'd just be winding down. Sometimes if it's Jack and I at home, we watch some TikToks before bed, but in general, we're in bed before 11.30 every night. I'm probably in bed a bit later than him. He's definitely in bed at 11, but yeah. I'm a night owl, so this is quite radical to me. This early bedtime thing, what is this? Oh my God, I'm <laughs> so shiny. Welcome to the bedroom. This is probably my least favorite room in the house just because I really want to redecorate it. Um, but I'm waiting at the moment because we have the opportunity to work with potentially a sponsor on the decorating room video. And you know, that would be amazing. So I'm obviously holding out for it and I would document it anyway, so it feels like just a natural partnership. I'm currently waiting on that and I can't wait to repaint this room. I'm really buzzing and we've got a few other like plans for making it look nice and feel really homey. Um, but yeah, right now the color just isn't doing it for me. I'm excited for the redecoration, but that's why you won't see this room too much until I make that video. Anyway, I'm gonna read. I am reading, I'm about, I'm over halfway through. I am, I'll tell you, 118 pages into Working Hard, Hardly Working by Grace Beverly. I just finished Obama's biography, autobiography, that was 28 hours long and I read the first half and then I switched to audiobook because I was like, this isn't getting finished unless I commit. So <laughs> I finally finished that and now I'm halfway through this and it's really interesting. I feel like it's maybe for a slightly, or like aimed at a slightly younger audience but I'm only just getting into the hardly working end of it. So the working hard I kind of knew a lot about but we've actually had quite similar career paths on some level because we both became uh, self-employed early and became influencers early and we run our own businesses respectively. So a lot of that felt like familiar ground but I'm interested to see what she has to say about rest as well and about recharging and kind of her kind of manifesto on that. But yeah, I've followed Grace for years. I think she's really cool. So it has been a really interesting read. So yeah, I'm gonna read a bit more of that. And this is where I will wrap up and say goodnight. Thank you so much for joining me on this little evening. I hope you've had a lovely time. I hope it's been soothing and calming <laughs> as it has for me. I hope you're having a lovely day or evening or night, wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you.